Hello teacher and hello everyone. Today we group 5 are going to briefly present an article named A Comparative Study on the Effect of Nano Additives on the Performance and Emissions of a Diesel Engine Run on Chatrofa Biodiesel by two authors named um, M.S. Card and Charayat. Um, this presentation will be divided into four main parts according to the original article introduction material and method result and discussion and finally conclusion so let's start with the introduction what um, inspired the author to choose this topic to study first of all the author have a vision on the environmental concerns and the massive increase in energy demand that's why um, they um, they have a research on a new alternative fuel in this case they have thought of biodiesel fuel which can be produced from vegetable oil and vegetable oil um, have um, two um, types the first one is the consumable one, which is too expensive to burn for energy. That's why they are using non-consumable one, such as ch ch chatrofa. This is what chatrofa fruit looks like, and it is very easy to grow, especially in Southeast Asia. The main benefit of using biodiesel is to cut down the amount of emissions from the um, from the diesel engine but on the other hand its thermal efficiency is um, less than using diesel oil this is where the scientists use nanoparticle to improve the thermal efficiency as the article title mentioned it is a comparative study so it is expected to have a lot of um, previous study in this specific article these previous um, studies um, have some differences um, in some areas such as um, their process and experiment and also the um, ingredient and the amount of them in the experiment but the similarities of this um, article mentioned here um, are to um, cut down the amount of emissions and improve the thermal efficiency of um, biodiesel engine for example the first um, four article um, they mentioned here um, state that the amount of um, nitrogen oxide and smoke emission can be decreased by using nanoparticle in Chatrofa uh, biodiesel plant. Here are some more articles. Now I'm going to explain a bit about um, nomenclature that we are going to encounter in this specific article. In this article, the authors um, use um, Chatrofa oil in one liter of um, diesel fuel, and this um, suffix is um, J20 mean in one liter of diesel fuel, they will be using 20% of Chatrofa um, oil, and the suffix um, here is the nanoparticle and there are three of them the first one is aluminum oxide carbon nanotube and titanium oxide and these two are the emission from the experiment and TEM and SEM are the electron microscope using in the experiment 
So here is a can section of our, of our research paper, which is about material and methods. Uh, in this part, it has three main and in this section, yes, main there's three main part, which is about the first part is about how we prepare the chetrophil biodiesel, and second part about is about how we blend the chetrophil biodiesel with uh, the nano particle, and the third part is about how we set up the experiment. So let's move on to the first part, which is about how we prepare the chetrophil biodiesel. So we start this part by predicting the chetrophil seed using screw pressing extraction methods, which is uh, the reason we the reason we use this this method because it provides higher recover oil than other methods. And we're going to use these machines, uh, which operate at 100 degrees C and 60 RPM uh, to to produce about 20% of oil yield. And then we're going to feed the crushed chetrophil chetrophil seeds to the, the to the feeder to release the oil. And from and then we collect the release oil to, to and then we collect the oil and get it off the unwanted uh, solid material inside the oil to purify it. Move on to the first stage, which is the first stage of biodiesel reactions. In this step, we're going to uh, we're going to complete this step by treating the purifier in a reaction flask with concentrated uh, sulfuric acid and with and methanol uh, before agitating it for four hours at 60 degree, 60 degree C and 400 RPM. And after that, we let rest for another two hours. Uh, let's move on to the fifth stage, which is the second stage of biodiesel reaction, or as known as ten esterification reactions. Uh, in this step, we make the catalyst with the obtained alcohol oil mixture and stir it for another 90 minutes at 60 degrees C and 40 RPMs. Uh, and then we let it rest overnight to complete the reactions. And upon completing the reactions we remove the glycerol and uh, and and the methyl uh, methyl ester uh, from from the mixture and if you have any question about the strand esterification you can read from this uh, you saw possible and did it and next we remove after we remove the glycerol and methyl ester we obtain the few body cells of jetrophas and next step, we're going to up, we're going to blend this chetrophil biodiesel with uh, diesel diesel oil to obtain our test which is G20. So this is the end of the first part of the second section. And here is the property of G20 compared with pure diesel, pure biodiesel, and pure diesels. You can read yourself if you want. Pause the video. So move on to the second part, which is how we. Uh, how we prepare, how we blend the nanoparticle with the chetro, but chetro, with J20, of course. So, first of all, we're going to categorize the surface and morphological structure of nanoparticle by transmission, transmissions electron microscopy or TEMs. And second step, we're going to investigate the morphology of nanoparticle by scanning electron microscopy or SEMs. And for the and for the third step, we're going to blend nanoparticle with the J20 at three different mass fraction of 25, 50, and 100 ppm. And this step was done by ultra ultrasonication at 160 watts and 40 kilohertz of frequency and 45 minutes of uh, constant agitation time. So here is the product uh, of our blending. And my friend has explained it already in the nomenclature part. And cautions, the newly acquired product must be used as soon as, soon as possible to prevent sedimentation of the nanoparticle. And now we have reached the last part of uh, material Amazon, which is about how we set up our experiment. So the first thing, so the the first uh, the first thing is engines uh, is a single cylinder for stroke diesel engines and run at 5.7 kilowatt and 400 uh, 1500 rpm. And we also have fuel supplier that supply the fuel uh, to the engine and AC generator that calculate the brake output power of the engine. And we also have smoke meter that that. Uh, measure the amount of smoke produced by the engine. Uh, and next, we have exhaust gas analyzer that's connected to the uh, engine as well. And it's, it uh, analyzes the O2, CO2, HC, and NO, and NO2 that uh, emitted by the engine. 
And next, we have thermal coplar sensor that uh, measure their temperature. Two of them, uh, there's two of them, and that measure the temperature of intake air and exhaust gas. And next, we have a cylinder a pressure transducer that connect to the engine as well. It convert the pressure of the cylinder to electrical charge. And maybe have a charge amplifier that connect to the uh, that connect to the pressure transducer. It uh, convert the electrical charge generated by cylindrical pressure transducer to usable electrical charge and transfer this electrical charge to uh, data acquisition card to be interpreted by the personal computer. And next we have the air orifice that connected to uh, uh, the engine as well. Uh, indirectly uh, that it, it calculates the intake airflow to dampen the pulsating airflow. And next we have a proximity switch uh, connecting to the engine as well. It measures the instantaneous location of the piston top dead center. And next we have personal controller that interpret data from the data acquisition card. And one more thing, we have uh, one more thing connected to the engine as well that uh, YouTube, uh, which is a pressure differential meter, it is, uh, it is a YouTube manometer that measure the pressure drop at the orifice. And finally, we have the condensed shaft. Uh, it's very important because it connects the engine to the AC generator. So this is the end of the second part or the second section of the research paper. Thank you. So, I'm going to talk about the third part of the article, its results and discussion that consists of eight parts. For the first part, is effort of nano additive on price specific fuel consumption. Price specific fuel consumption decreases at the load engine number, as you can see on the right hand side graph. The price specific fuel consumption do decrease at the engine load increase. And due to the addition of nano additive on brain specific fuel consumption, if we compare it to other cell, but to chatrofar by other cell, colon, and net cell, nanoparticle provide a low specific fuel consumption. Since the presence of nanoparticle has an effect on property of fuel, and resulting of reduction, the reduction of ignition delay of time. It means that it reduces the time between fuel injection and combustion. So it also participates to improve the fuel air mixing and combustion. That's why it leads to less fuel consumption. And if we compare with other the cell, the J20 AL 100 has a maximum decrease of 6.5 6 at 75% of engine load. Next is effect of nano additives on brake thermal efficiency. Brake thermal efficiency gets higher as engine load increase along with fuel consumption increase. As you can see on the graph here. The increase of thermal, thermal efficiency due to the addition of nanoparticles reduces the ignition delay and combustion duration of the fuel, which, to higher, which lead to higher peak cylinder pressure and faster heat release. Moreover, adding nanoparticles create a smaller droplet, lower viscosity and exposed to a higher effective surface and potential cut and potential catalyst which lead to less fuel consumption. The effect of nano additives on exhaust gas temperature. The exhaust gas temperature increase with load increase because of higher engine cylinder temperature. But the addition of nanoparticles to chapter 5 biodiesel this to decrease in exhaust gas temperature and nanoparticles disperse lead to improve combustion, fuel air mixing and higher engine efficiency and the higher decrease of exhaust temperature of chatrofar biodiesel with nanoparticles is 
up to 27% compared with other pure experiments. The effect of nano additives on carbon monoxide emission. They decrease in carbon monoxide emission with increase of engine load and pan load. But the factor that, that leads to reduce reduction of carbon monoxide emission is we need more oxygen content of biodiesel, which leads to complete combustion. And adding nanoparticles will shorten the ignition delay that improve the degree of fuel air mixing and uniform burning that will lead to complete combustion. And a complete combustion due to weakness oxygen, which we have to reduce carbon, mono, carbon monoxide emission. Next, the effect of nano additives on, on nitrogen oxide emission. The factor that leads to reduce the nitrogen oxide emission is higher combustion temperature, availability of oxygen, and lower ignition delay. Due to the presence of nanoparticles, it leads to complete combustion as it acts as oxygen catalyst. As it is a complete combustion, it means that it has enough oxygen to react. As the complete combustion, it has a maximum heat release rate and higher peak pressure, which will shorten the duration of ignition delay of nanoparticles. For all of our reasons, that's why that's why nitrogen emission will be reduced. Effect of nano additive on unburned hydrocarbon emission. Uh, the graph below shows the effect of different fuel on unburned hydrocarbon emission with engine load. And unburned hydrocarbon emission is proportional to the engine load. As you can see, the uh, unburned carbon Unburned hydrocarbon emission is uh, getting lower with uh, part particle engine load and getting higher with the uh, higher engine load. And when we add nano additive on stratified biodiesel, it will lead to decrease the amount of unburned hydrocarbon that it meets to atmosphere because it have to reduce in viscosity, improve vaporization, improve of fuels. Optimization, lower the carbon combustion activation temperature and also enhance the fuel oxidation. And from the graph here, it shows that the maximum decrease of unburned hydrocarbon emission is when we mix with nano, is when we mix with J20 T25. Effect of nano additive on smoke opacity. Uh, the graph below shows the variation of smoke emission with engine load from different fuels. And the smoke emission also proportional to engine load, but the engine load also contributes to fuel consumption. And when we add nano additive on stratified biodiesel, it will lead to, to de it will decrease the amount of smoke opacity. Uh, and this cause due to Due to more exist, existent oxygen molecules, uh, lower carbon content in fuels, more fuel burn in diffusion stage of com combustion, and reduce the ignition ignition delay, which is mean the ignition uh, ignition process getting faster. And compared to our fuel experiment, uh, we could see that the Chatrofa biodiesel blend with a J20C 100 getting maximum decrease uh, the, the amount of smoke opacity. Last one is comparison of uh, diesel engine performance for Chatrofa biodiesel with nano -adaptive. Uh As you can see, th this table show about the performance of all nano Adaptive with Chatrofa biodiesel, and you could see you could see that all all nano particle is getting different performance, and this variation in perform in performance among nano particle depend on two factor. First is nano particle size, and second is bulk density. And 
uh, for nanoparticle size is affect on surface tension on nanofluid and for bulk density is effect of attraction between nanoparticle and surface tension so for the last part in our article is conclusion in this part we investigate the performance and exhaust emission of nanoparticle adding of nanoparticle at two tetrafa biology cell for j20 al100 uh, has the maximum decrease of specific fuel consumption about 6.5% and has the maximum increase in thermal efficiency about 6.5% and also has the maximum decrease of exhaust gas temperature about 27 27% and for J20 T25 has a maximum decrease in uh, unburned hydrocarbon emission about 22, 22%. For J20 C100 has a maximum decrease in smoke emission about 50%. For J20 C50 has maximum decrease in uh, carbon monoxide emission about 35% and also has the maximum decrease in nitrogen oxide emission about 52% and all this we compare with the we compare the result at 75 engine load compared with the diesel, mid diesel engine. And uh, we could see that adding nanoparticle getting better result. However, we have to consider the stability of nanoparticle in biodiesel to prevent its sediment, sedimentation. That's all and thank you for your attention.